सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ ई फुटबॉल ट्वेंटी सो येस्टरडे द थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो अपडेट हैज़ फाइनली कम विद अ लॉट ऑफ फीचर्स एंड अ लॉट ऑफ अपडेट्स एंड विद दैट अपडेट दिस फीचर नेम इंडिविजुअल इंस्ट्रक्शंस हैव ऑल्सो कम सो टुडे आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग दिस फीचर एज वेल एज गिविंग यू सम इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट दिस फीचर सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो इफ यू ओपन आवर गेम प्लान देन दिस विल लुक लाइक दिस देन यू हैव टू चूज your manager or tap into our manager pick then this options will come and there is a option named individual instructions you have to click it so after clicking it there are four types of slots first is attack one second is attack two third is defense one and fourth is defense two so there are four slots right but their work is two types means attack has one type of work and defense has one type of work and these two types of work you can choose two players from each side of work so let's first see the attack one okay attack so at first it will be off and if you select a player uh, with these features three features are there then it will work so there are three types of features now i'll explain it to you one by one so first read the instructions defensive the instructed player will refrain from pushing forward in attack means the best feature you can ever get so let's go to the players and explain so sometimes the left back and right backs are attacking full back and they come in these types of positions for the cross and the um, wingers just remain a little bit low from his position and the attackers go up means the full backs go up for crosses or passes or attack but in this feature if you turn on this feature then the uh, defensive full back or any other position player will remain his position means he will not join the attack means sometimes the defensive full back try to go up and sometimes this this is anchor man this doesn't go up but sometimes players like box to box and uh, like rice they go up they go to this position like this position attacking position but with this feature if you turn on this feature then the players will remain in their position and don't go up means this is very useful for dmf position those who are not uh, anchor man and for the full backs who are attacking full backs so you can use attacking full backs as defensive full backs as well means this is a very good feature and a very good update now let's go to the second feature which is attacking attacking the assigned player will remain position his same higher up the position than usual this cannot be assigned to a fw player this one is easy the last one is not going up means the players will remain to their position and not go for attacks but this one this one is a little bit easier and uh, opposite from the other one this time those who you select will not remain in defense means if you select costa puta defensive full back then he will go for crosses he will remain like a attacking full back mean he will go for cross crosses he will go up and if you select this neves he will go more higher position than he usually goes and this guy as well means this is truly opposite from the last one last one just goes for defense go goes lower position and this one goes higher up position means truly opposite from the last one now let's go for the last feature of attack attack this is anchoring the instructed player is restricted from drifting out of position horizontally for example your center forward will keep a central position and your wingers will not venture inside this one is a very good feature for all the players uh for the roaming flanks i will say so if i give you an example with attackers this really remains with the attackers so let's go with uh, this chukwese okay so chukwese is a roaming flank and sometimes he goes very much mid side like where is messi position mid side cf right side cf you can say and this guy goes here 
strike and Messi goes here. You can see this in the game. The roaming flanks always try to score goal, comes to the middle and try to shoot. And if the roaming flanks comes middle, there is a free position here. Okay, there is a free position. If he comes middle, then this RWF position is too much free and no one is there. And what Messi does, Messi just goes in this position, in the right hand position. And where Messi, he can uh, put like a RWF and this guy plays like a CF. But if you turn on this feature, Chukweze, this uh, anchoring, then Chukweze only remains in the right wing. Means he will never come to the CF position. Means if I just pass it to Chukweze, Chukweze can come to middle if the ball is on him. But if he is off the ball, then he will never come to the middle. He will always try to come to the winging position if he is playing like a RWF. And this Del Piero will never go to LWF, Pedri never comes to CF if you just stand on this position. Means they will try to bring their position and hold on their position. They will never go to their off position. This one is pretty much good for a roaming flank uh, player. Because roaming flank players like big time Messi, this is a problem. Because if big time Messi, 106 rated I guess. Uh, boot kissing Messi that one just comes to the middle and the right wing position uh, is not filled with players it's just free no one is there and this is a big problem for uh, the players who wants to go with the wing on to counter with the wing and if you use this feature on that Messi if you have that Messi then he will always remain in the wing and never goes to CF okay the, this is the first attack one and attack 2 is like same same uh, type of features so you can use two players uh, with this feature means you can use it to del piero for that uh, position thing that never goes to lwf never goes to rwf and you may use this um, costa Guta for going up and uh, use this for defensive works attacking works like attacking fullback so you can use two players for attacking this is the first one okay this is the first feature now i'll explain the second feature second feature is defense one the same thing defense two is the same thing two players you can use the first thing is tight marking man marking counter target and deep line means the first two will only work as you are playing a game this one you can't uh, select before the match when the match starts or when the players are selected uh, for the match when you can see the gameplay in the match this will work so tight marking selected opposition player will be marked much tighter than usual with the marker switching depending on the position space tends to open up as the markers track the position player they are marking this instruction can be set when in match so already it's, it is said that it can only be selected in the match and this feature I'll explain. So here is the gameplay. So you can select one player for it. Okay. Tight marking. Right. So you can select one player who will be your target for the match and they will be pressing them much. Like if opposition is having Mbappe and Mbappe coming to this position then every defender like this position right that every defender will just trigger Mbappe means everyone will press Mbappe Van Dijk will come here to press Mbappe this Pavard will come here to press Mbappe Rudiger will come here to press Mbappe also this uh, Casemiro will come to press Mbappe as well as Costa Kuta means all the defense will trigger him and press him much more than the usual like if I am uh, not using this feature then only one or two players like Van Dijk Rudiger just presses him and right back sometimes presses him but in this feature everyone DMF from DMF to right back left back CBs all will just press him one player and this has a brick problem like if you are pressing from all the sides all the sides are pressing to Mbappe then this will not be good for your team because if Mbappe comes here and if you are pressing like with Pavard okay right everyone is pressing him Pavard comes first then if Mbappe passes here means the wing is very much free now he has a lot of space because everyone is 
pressing Mbappe. What's pressing Mbappe? Now he has a space, space and with this space he can come to the wing, push on to the wing and pass it to Mbappe again or any other player who is free. Then he can score goal. So it is very much pressurized and it is not really good for the team always. If you know how to press well and if you think that wing attacks will not be very much affected to you then you can use this feature but it is not from my recommendation let's go to the second one second one is man marking this is what everyone knows this is not a new feature but a new feature because this time it is a simple difference here but it is quite similar to the man marking skill like i'm i'm showing you wait showing you this is Pavard and player details now and he has man marking skill so so this time this time it is on on to the game you are going to the game and you think that Mbappe is playing through the left hand side or left wing means your opposition player Mbappe is there and you want to tackle Mbappe okay I am just yes I am just uh, changing uh, the formation a little bit look this is your Mbappe this is not your Mbappe this is opposition Mbappe right so now your power is there but sometimes power goes up sometimes sometimes I'm just saying sometimes sometimes power goes up and no one is there to tackle Mbappe to defend Mbappe like if power is here and his defense look defense passes here then Mbappe is too much free because Pavard is not there, Pavard is here. But with this feature, you are Pavard, you are Pavard, right? If you give Pavard the feature to man mark Mbappe, then your Pavard will always remain with Mbappe. Means where Mbappe goes, Mbappe goes to the middle, Pavard will go to the middle. Mbappe goes to the right, Pavard will go to the right. Like we'll stick with him. Like in game you can see this feature but in real life if you watch football then you can see Neymar Messi always are targeted by one or two players means if Neymar is playing in the AMF then the DMF always target Neymar and also Ronaldo they try to just man mark these players because they are good at shooting they are good at passing they can make good passes from anywhere so I guess this feature is very much good who wants to counter attack and his opposition team if you are and he's a wing play player then you can give this feature to him because this is very much useful when the player is going through the left hand side and wing and you are using an attacking fullback it works much because attacking fullback always remain in this position while attacking and the wing always gets free so man marking is a very good feature now let's go to the third feature means counter target let's read this the instructed player will stay in the vicinity of the position's box rather than dropping back to help the defense it means that these forwards do not use up energy running back and forward this one is a little bit easier and a little bit okay so if your Ruben Neves is here to attack right because he is only one CMF and he will try to attack while needed because some orchestrators just come up to help those players to bring the build up here passing here passing from there now if he is coming here in this position right in, in this position he is coming now sometimes you can see that players fall back while defending this Ruben Neves is also the same while needed he goes to attack and when defending when the counter attack is on or any uh, normal attack he comes down he comes to this position while defending but with this feature the players who is selected if he is going to the attack right Ruben Neves is here okay now there is a counter attack and players are just doing counter your opposition players are doing counter now Ruben Neves does what just goes down but if you use this feature Ruben Neves will remain here he will not go down he will just remain here for the ball when the ball is taken from our team from the opposition team then 
Ruben Neves still in this position means he will never change his position he will go to attack but never come down to defense now Pavard will pass to here and Ruben Neves will go to attack and this is just a loop because this will always happen so this is the feature when you will play a player will never go down to defense this is the main thing the player will never come down to defense he will always remain to attack let's go to the last feature i guess deep line the instructed player will drop back to position that allows him to join the defense with ease this cannot be assigned to a df player means defensive player right this cannot be assigned to a midfield player either when playing at five at the back so this is a easy situation first let me say what was written in the last two lines so this cannot be assigned to a df player means you cannot use it for a defensive player because i will say it why it is not usable for a defensive player this cannot assign to a mf player either when playing with five at the back means you cannot assign this feature when you are playing five at the back for midfield players now i'll say why you cannot assign this feature to five at the back players so now uh wait first let me see okay mbappe is not a cb so i will go with mathai select so let's go so there are four defense right in this feature let me first explain the feature the feature is when you are counter attack the opposing feature from the last last one the last one does what it never goes down it will always do attacks but never comes down it will always go up and this one this one this one if you assign like if you are assigning this feature to messi then messi will come down means he will do track back he will come down to get the ball from the opposition team like last one was going to attack and this one will every time he will fall back when needed like a deep lying forward he will always fall back try to uh, intercept the ball from the opponent's team and after getting the ball he will go to attack he will attack plus defense but last one was only attack 